a little army of babies. Oops, cover up your bits, girls. You're on camera. Have a little decency. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. This video is a haul video from the antique shop with me when I was with Barb and Jeffrey and Mark and Aaron and we were at, where were we at? We were at, I can never remember, the St. Charles Antique Mall in St. Charles, Missouri. It was a great mall. If you've ever been there before, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's, there's a lot of, you know, there's some affordable things and there's some pricey things. And so it's just really, it's a really well done mall. They've got really good vendors. There's a lot to look at. So if you're ever in the St. Charles, Missouri area, I highly recommend that you go in and check out that mall. The workers in there were super nice and super helpful. So make sure that you go and check them out. Okay. Well, I got a few things. Now, one of the things that I'm about to show you is has been sold. They they spotted it in the video and they emailed me right away and they asked if I still had it and I said I did. And that is the Santa. It's going this popcorn Santa. It has sold uh and this is the one that was in the little beginning of the video where uh Barb looked at it and then she decided she didn't want it and I was like, "Well, are you sure?" Because if you don't want it, I'm going to get it. And she said, oh, you can get it. So Santa, I was going to keep it. But you know, sometimes people, I just, I think I want to keep something. And then I take it home. I'm like, no, I don't think I want to. I think I'm going to sell that instead. So popcorn Santa is really nice. Now this one is one that's a little bit more rare than a, a lot of the other ones that you see. He has a nice kind of solid back to him. So a lot of the times you'll see them and they're, they're popcorn-y all over. Well, he is not popcorn-y all over. He is popcorn-y on one side and nice and flat on the other side. So he is going to be going to his new home. All right. And then I also picked up these. Now these are Holt Howard Design Dairy Queen. You can see Dairy Queen with the Holt Howard Santa, little triangle Santa. These were just a promotional glasses that you could buy from Dairy Queen. I'm not quite sure the date. These are just like kind of an iconic Holt Howard design. I am going to sell these. I used to have some of these, but I am going to sell these two as a set. And with anything that I show you, if there's something that you're interested in, you can always send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. It's right there. And it's also in the description of this video, so you can go back and look at it later. And if you see something that you're interested in, you can send me a message and we'll talk We'll talk about it a little bit and then I can give you a quote and it can be on, on its way to you. But these are just fun. These will be nice to have on Christmas Eve. Yes, they're Dairy Queen, but they're still vintage and they are, they're an advertisement piece, which I like. So, all right, what else Christmas? Let's get the Christmas stuff. Let's show all the Christmas. Well, I did get a bag of angel heads at one time, but now I got a bag of Santa heads. So how many are in here? There are ooh, three, three Santa heads. And they are, I'm trying to see. These are just, these would be great to use if you are making a craft, you know, or you could, you could turn one into a pin. You could put one on a wreath. You could hang it up as an ornament, but these are very nice. They have a rubber face. These are vintage. He has a nice rubber face. It's not plastic. He's got his little velvet velvety hat his little buddies his little brothers are all the same i was trying to see if they have made in japan mark but his, his two brothers they're all together i don't see a mark on them but really cute so santa heads everybody wants one right all right so we got the santa heads i don't remember how much i paid for a lot of this stuff because they taken the price tag off i've already filed the receipt away so we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about what i got Okay. <laughs> I don't remember the prices. This was a couple weeks ago. But you know me well enough to know that I'm not going to overspend on something. So I keep things... <sighs> Santa's beard's floating around in the air now. I keep things at as low of a price as possible. Next, I got this little pick of a dancing Santa. You could just twirl around. Now, you would put these in a floral display... A lot of times when you find these flop Santas, they're missing their metal pole. And you just find these guys. Well, you can shove a pole right in their feet if they've got a hole in their foot. And you can put it in your 
in your greenery or in a you know floral display or up on top of a house i mean you could do all kinds of stuff with this but this little guy i got and he will be for sale as well because let's face it i do not need any more of these i have quite quite a quite a few now this is something that i'm keeping just throwing that out there and that is this postcard mark found this for me and i think that was so sweet it is a vintage santa claus land santa now this is the original santa claus land santa that would stand out there they've replaced it with a different one but i wonder what they did with this one i like this one better and they've also changed the name of it, the, of this amusement park to Holiday World. It will always be Santa Claus to me. But um, the major greeter for Santa Claus Land is this jolly old gent who waves to every visitor, both young and old, as they enter the grounds at Santa Claus Land. The statue has been photographed more times than any other statue of Santa Claus in the world. This is an impressive monument to the patron saint of children who brings joy to the world and especially at Christmas time. I'm trying to see if there's a date on here. I mean, it's vintage. This one's probably from the 60s. It's in great condition. It's, he's an icon. The new one isn't as fun. And then this is the Santa Claus Land little tram. Pioneer Land train in Santa Claus Land. What is this? Washington Park in Michigan City, Indiana. Well, you don't go with the rest of these. Well, here it is, but so if anybody wants this one, you can let me know because I don't I don't care about um, Washington Park in Michigan City, Indiana. So I don't really care about that one, but if somebody's just just itching to have that postcard, they can let me know. But these two I am keeping and I'm adding to my Santa Claus Land collection. All righty. I got this little Santa. I thought about keeping him, but I don't think I am. Because, listen, I have been clearing out my Christmas things. I have, listen, I, I, me, Misty, have brought two boxes, two full containers, storage containers, full of Christmas items from my house that I am purging. So, I'm, I'm being a good girl, Santa, I'm being a good girl. I'm purging you. But... There's this little guy. Now, I don't know if he's supposed to be Santa or just some random little elf, but he's so cute. He's got a little felt hat and a little beard. He's made out of wood. There's his little feet. Looks like a heart. He's a love elf. You're a little love elf, aren't you? He's got a little plastic nose. He's a cute little, cute little fella. And what other Christmas did I get? Oh, I got some, I got some reindeer. Reindeer are all the rage right now. You you try to sell a reindeer and it's people go nuts over the reindeer. I got three of them. I I haven't taken them out of the box to check in on them, but there's two of these little brown. They're plastic. They're that early plastic though that you can tell a difference between this plastic than like newer plastic. So there's two of these guys. Two of these little reindeer. And then there's this one. Oh, he's missing an antler. He's white. Poor thing. He's missing an ear and an antler. But he's that, um, like, a injected mold plastic. So I probably will sell these three as a lot together. Since the white one has a little bit of a, uh, accident. he's had an accident. And I got this. Now, I'm going to sell this because I already have this guy. I already have one. And I don't need two. I got this little Santa little trinket dish. I've sold one of these, too. But you can hang it on your wall. It has a little, has a little hole there. It is made in Japan. Just a jolly Santa. I actually have, it, have this laying in, my dick, in one of my little assemblages at home um, with a couple little ornaments and stuff in it. Just a little trinket dish. I would not use this as a spoon rest. I know that a lot of, I mean, I, that's kind of where my mind went first, but his face is cold painted. So if you put a lot of stuff, that paint's all going to go away. So he's just meant to be pretty and he's just meant to have just some little doodads, like some little baubles in there or your jewelry, or you can hang them on the wall. Um, I like to put little things like this in the bathroom. You know, Santa can peek in on it, peek on in at you while you're doing your business. 
but I don't know. I tend to put little things like this in the bathroom. What else? Oh, this. I love this. This was painted by Terry. Terry painted this little elf boot. Um, I, well, you could put a bottle brush tree in here. I've got some sitting here in front of me, but I'll show you those in a second. But a little, just a little boot. It's just a little elven boot. Now, you could use this for Christmas and then use it again for the St. Patrick's Day. So that's good. Terry painted this. Terry Brogan. I don't know when he painted it because Terry didn't write the date on it. But it's got some little felt there on the bottom to protect the surface that it sits on. But I also got these at the antique mall. These little bottle brush trees. They're kind of small, so I'm not going to open them up. But, you know, you could put a bottle brush tree in here and it'd be awfully cute. You know what else you could do? You could put a little bottle brush tree and then prop Santa up there. Santa can sit in the elf boot and that would be, that would be a fun display. But I've never seen one like this before. I liked it. And I kind of thought you guys would like it too. So I did get these bottle brush trees. These are just white ones. And then this was a bag full of things. I like goodie bags at an antique mall. But I wanted these because I liked these pink ones in here. See, there's some pink ones in there. Well, there's two pink ones in there. Those are the ones I wanted for the pink ones. And then I just got some stickers. And I'll use these as package toppers. There's some snowflakes and some bows and some stars and some bells. Some bells crafty. So I just mainly one of those uh, Christmas trees. That's why I got this bag. And I don't remember how much I paid for it, but you know, not very much. I am sure. I think all together I spent, I mean, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I'm not done with my haul yet, but I think all together $115 maybe around that, around that price range. All right. Then I got these. Now I am keeping these. I'm keeping the Scotch Tape Tin because, you know, I, I I can't, I just can't not keep them. So I'm keeping that and I'm keeping this one too. Now this one isn't Scotch Tape, but it's different. And I think if I throw that in there with the rest of my Scotch Tape Tins, it will maybe bring out some of the yellow in that plaid. It just adds a little bit of a pop. It is for um, free. Oh, it's Hallmark. It's from Hallmark. Hallmark plastic tape. Hallmark. You know, not to be confused with Walmart. It's the Hallmark. Um, Self-sealing tape. But I, I don't know. I just thought that it would just add a little bit of difference and coloring and stuff with my Scotch tape dispenser display. And then I got these fun little salt and pepper shakers. Don't they look like little candy canes? I don't know. They're, I mean, they don't, they don't, they don't, they're not like for sure Christmas, but you know, you can use them for every red holiday, Christmas, Valentine's day, 4th of July, multi-use. They're really cute with the stripes on them. They've got, let's see. I think that this is just plastic. I don't think it's fake alike, but they're in excellent condition. So these are also for sale right now as well. Or they will, or they are for sale right now. They're not listed anywhere. I got myself another turkey. I don't know. I, I'm, I've got so many of these turkeys now. I need to quit buying them. But this is just a little girly candle. G-U-R-L-E-Y. Little figural girly candle of a turkey. So I'll put this away in my new hidey hole for next Thanksgiving to add to that display. I got this little guy and I, I don't know exactly what this is. I mean, it's just fabulous because it's just weird looking and, um, bunny, a bunny. It's a bunny. I think it's a bunny, but you, it's a planter or, or, or it's one of those air freshener things that had like a, almost like a felt stick that stuck in here and you could put oils or perfumes and stuff on it. I don't know that that's what that is, though, because its tail is right here. So normally the tail is the part of where the felt part goes. So I just think that this is just a little, just a little vase. There is some, like, dirt 
down in there where someone used it as a vase. I love these bug-eyed animals. Aren't they great? Oh, I love the I love the polka dots on them. He's made in Japan. I'm not keeping him. I bought him to keep, but I am purging. I'm purging. I'm purging. I'm getting rid of some things that are just clogging up my house because we need space. Then I got this. This is, I think, this is one of the last things that I picked up that day in that mall. Let me get the tag off. Oh, we'll get it off later. And it's the little tea bag. This was made by Napco. And I will hold the bag. It's a little apple. It's a little hat on. So it's a little anthropomorphic little apple. He could stand up on his own. Or you can lay him down flat if you need him to hold the bag. Uh, there isn't any flaws on him at all. I just love these. I have these sell pretty, pretty, pretty well too. So they they did come in sets, but I just have this little single one. You can see it is Napco there. So he's a he's for sale. All right, just a few more things. I got this cute little planter of a little Scotty. It's a little Scotty dog. I thought it was adorable. Look at his little terrier face. Aren't terriers funny? He's just so mad. I'm a Scotty dog. But he's so cute. He's nice and clean. He's he I thought at first he might he might be a creamer. Or you know what? You know what? I think you're an ashtray. I think he's an ashtray. Because I thought it was awfully weird that He's got like little, like little holy dents in on the sides of his tail. So I thought, that's when I thought, well, maybe he's a creamer. Well, he doesn't have a spout or anything. But if you look up here on his ears, he's got a little rest for your cigarette. So you're in it. Well, people will put their ashes out in you. No wonder you're so grumpy. Oh, I just love him. But he would be cute as a planter. So cute. I love a Scotty dog. Gosh, they're so cute. But terriers are something else. Let me just tell you. I've got a Jack Russell terrier, and she's extra cute. She's extra cute. All right, next I got this little... Oh, wait, before I even say, squeaker alert. So just hide your husbands, hide your wives, hide your pets. I got a squeaker. Squeaker alert. So we got... This is made by Rimple. So it's an early rubber toy manufacturer from the 50s. This is Rimpel Manufacturing uh, Enterprises from Akron, Ohio. Now, these, there are a collector's market, especially for these Rimpel pieces. Someone's put a piece of um, string around his neck. That's just silly. They just made a mockery out of you. We'll have to take that off. Oh, we can take it off right now. But you can see the marking there on the back. Rimpel, R-E-M-P-E-L. These were baby toys, obviously, and this one just is in really good condition. Yes, he looks a little worn and torn and a little dirty, but he's old. He's old. And um, normally you'll find these and the rubber is pretty rotted out. He's very supple and in really good condition. So I did pick him up. I don't think he was too terribly expensive, but I, I'll, I'm sorry, I'll quit squeaking. But a lot of times the rubber around the squeaker down there will be will be rotted out. But... They still sell, even if the the squeaker doesn't squeak. I've sold some that had holes in them. Depending on what the animal is, they still will sell. What else? Oh, I got some postcards. Oh, Mark found me some postcards. I think he got a little bored, and he just said, what can I go look at? Well, I'll go look at the postcards, because they had a booth that had like card catalogs and they had all of the postcards separated by state so it was kind of fun just to like pull out the state that you wanted to look at and he found some Mackinac this is the Mighty Mac Mackinac Bridge this is a big postcard the Mackinac Bridge or Mackinac depending on who you ask seagulls it add to the picturesque area spanned by the bridge open to traffic november 1st 1957 the bridge is a vital link to our northwest territory as well as canada and only six, 60 miles north oh because canada is only 60 miles north um, it is a portion of i-75 it's a giant postcard it says so that one doesn't have any writing on it oh where is this from 
Wow. I don't know where. It says it's Hotel Macatequa, West Michigan's largest beach resort. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Dirty Dancing. Kellerman's. Da, 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 da. Remember when they went to say that, and they stayed at Kellerman's? You remember that? That's what this reminds me of. It's like a little summer resort. Wow, this is really cool. Ugh. Look at the old cars down there. They're just parked on the beach. I love this. Oh my gosh. So, you know, someone probably would really, really like to have this. It's near Holland, Michigan, apparently. It says, Dear Judy, it's Sunday and I haven't gotten your letter. I'm writing this letter in bed. I think I will learn to water ski today. Going home tomorrow. Love, Nancy. This was to Judy. Macaqua card. The postmark date is 1953. Cool. I like that. And then we have Shepherd, Michigan Annual Maple Syrup Festival. That's a long postcard. Ooh, there's the trailer park or the campground. I think it's the campground. Then we have, oh, here's the fort. Michilimackinac. That's a fun word to say. Michilimackinac. Or Mich I, it's not Michilimackinac. No, it's Michilimackinac. And here it is. It's in plastic. I'm not going to take it out. This is a cool fort. They do a lot of reenactments. And actually, this is like a, like a cartoony picture. The capture of Michilimackinac. In 1763. Fun. I mean, the postcard. The battle wasn't fun, but the it's it's fun that I have this postcard. And then we have this is from Brighton. The it's the canopy. Food with imagination. Oh, where are you? You are the cocktail lounge, the main dining room, the gaslight room, and the canopy bottle and gourmet shop. This is so 1970s early 1970s look at that how dark that decor is Woo -hoo. and then we have an enchantment of a kingdom famous village in in the kingdom of shush mountain shush mountain in mansalona michigan shush mountain so there's that little pack and then he got me another pack and I haven't looked at these at all. I just was like, he was like, oh, these are Mackinac. And I was like, oh, yeah, 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 we'll buy those. Yep, we will. Well, oh, these are all packed in here weird. Oh, I see the Grand Hotel. Come on now. Let me in, you bag. Okay, I think I've managed to be able to pull these out oh my gosh this is the porch of the Mackinac or the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island <sighs> it is on my bucket list to one day stay at the Grand Hotel it is very expensive and I I don't think that that will it'll probably will never happen but it is in it's on my bucket list to stay in the Grand Hotel but look how fancy and they got like guard I don't think he's a guard but he looks like a guard Oh, I love it. And you have to, there's like a dress code. Like you, you, you have to be fancy. You have to be fancy to be in the Mac, like to go into the dining, to eat there, you have to wear a suit if you're a man. That's fancy. I wonder if they've got suit coats that you can rent if you don't have one. Don't you remember that from like watching TV and stuff? Like they'd have suit coats that you can rent. And there she is. There is the pride of Mackinac Island, the Grand Hotel. <gasps> oh my gosh. Now there was a movie somewhere in time was filmed here. It's an awesome movie. It's a very early Christopher Reeve movie. So if you want something to do this weekend, I highly recommend that you watch it. We went there a couple summers ago and we like found all the different spots that, that were kind of noticeable in the movie. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be there right now. I'd like to be there. This is Cobo Hall in Detroit, the convention center in Detroit. I don't think I really want to be there. Here's the fort on Mackinac. Oh my goodness, this lady has a 
beautiful writing. So here's Fort Mackinac, not to be confused with Fort Michelin Mackinac. Mich Fort Michelin Mackinac is on the mainland and Fort Mackinac, or Fort Mackinac, is on the island. Look at her writing. That's beautiful. Who wrote you? Sandy. Joe and Sandy. Dear Nadine, there's a fantastic world up north. We are all fascinated, tan, and ready to move on. Road Hydrofist? No. Oh, Hydro Tail to the island, which is the, the ferry. Road bikes around it. No cars, etc. allowed. The fort and musket demonstration was great, and the kids were awed by the noise. First day at camp was mess. Weekenders from Detroit. Now it's quiet and clean. Our 16-foot awning is very pretty. It does a great job. Glad we got it. Brought kids a or bought kids a beach ball, and Heath learned a lesson about water currents. The ball is halfway to Montreal by now. Um, we are on Lake Huron. Drove over the world's longest su suspension bridge. We'll recross it tomorrow. If we had stayed one more day, we would have done the Sioux Lock tours. No, 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 no. I don't like the Sioux Lock tours. I, listen, if there isn't anything wrong with it. It's if, if you like that sort of thing, it's fascinating. I hated it as a child, and I vowed I would never return as an adult. So, I hope, I'm glad that they didn't get to go. Tours something. We'll see them as we cross into Canada. First day here is hot and humid. Now it's almost 60 and crisp and clear. We will be anxious to hear about your friends at Ojai in California. Tell Thornburgs, hi, from Joe and Sandy. Hendrickson. They lived in Kansas. This was from 1985. I was probably there then. Then we have Hiawatha from Ironwood, Michigan. It's a nice big Native American statue. He's tall because there's people right there. He's a big, big one. Then we have Shepherd. Oh, there's another one from the from the Maple Syrup Festival. Oh, this is the Iroquois Hotel. The Iroquois Hotel. What is it? Is there a date on here? Because they just re, they remodeled it. They did some major renovations to the Iroquois Motel in the '80s. Yeah, in the '80s. Um, but it's another beautiful hotel that's on Mackinac Island. I mean, I'd stay there. I'd stay there. And then here's Arch Rock. On Mackinac Island. Beautiful, beautiful. You can ride your bike and just stand up there and overlook the water. You can go up here and take take a picture. It's one of the most photographed spots on the island. Now, back in the olden days, before they had all this stuff, you people would climb up here and take their picture. They wouldn't allow that today because you might fall. And that, you know, would be a lawsuit, I'm sure. So those I'm keeping, except for, I mean, I'm just keeping the Mackinac Island ones. Sorry, Sandy. I'm keeping the Mackinac Island ones. Sandy likes Mackinac, Islands too. Mackinac Island, too. The last thing I got I love, and that's just a box of babies. Just a box of babies. And they have their little, they have their open and close eyes. I just love them. They're just little plastic baby dolls. Now, they're naked, so hide your eyes if you don't want to see naked. Naked babies. Oh, my. Her eyes are... Ooh. Hello. Oh, she's wide awake. You see, she lays down. But you can't see when she lays down. Wake up. There she goes. Now she's awake. But there are five of them. Five babies. They are made in Hong Kong. Five little babies. Turn your head around there, girl. Here they are, all their little army, a little army of babies. Oops, cover up your bits, girls. You're on camera. Have a little decency. Oh my girl, you've got a half an arm. I'll show you here in a second. Here they are. Oh, there they are, all the babies. Now this one has a half an arm, so she's been in some sort of a freak accident. I don't know what's going on with you, girl, but babies. Five plastic babies. 
Um, I probably will sell these because I kind of just like the, I mean, I like them, but I mean, I probably will sell those, but that's it. That is my haul from the St. Charles Antique Mall. Again, it's a very, very cool place to go. So make sure that you do check it out if you are in the St. Charles, Missouri area. And with that, I'm going to just say goodbye. And well, before I do go, I will say, make sure that you do like this video. So click that little thumbs up button, turn it blue. Just turn it blue right now. Thumbs up the video. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. If you want to attend my live sales, you can. You can come on and attend. They are every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So hit the little bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I go live for those. And with that, now I can say goodbye, guys, and have a great day.